what is good it is your boy Pablo Gray we are back with another reaction video and today we have a clip from for from news for Jackson Jacksonville I believe if I think I'm right but um title of the clip is a healthy and safe Labor Day weekend reason I'm doing this clip right now is because Labor Day is gonna come up and y'all probably want to know what's going on so let's get into it but before we do man you like what I'm doing here like comment subscribe yes it's change scenery um, I'm in my car right now I gotta put some content out so I need I, I feel like I need to get back to, to these political issues that's going on because it's inevitable until election day really so um yeah man let's get into it whether you're traveling or staying here this holiday weekend doctors are asking everyone to stay safe as the COVID-19 pandemic continues that might mean enjoying your labor day in a different way this year and joining us now with on advice on how to stay safe is Memorial Hospital's ER medical director Dr. Fred Jenkins doctor thank you for being with us this morning thank you for having me and first and foremost as people travel this weekend what precautions should they take well, first of all, any travel carries with it the risk of either acquiring or, or spreading COVID. Um, so that's why. I Listen, um, I'm not trying to jinx nothing. I don't necessarily believe in that. Let me grab my drink. Um, shout out to this water and lime juice. You know what I'm saying? But, um. Since this COVID thing has gone on, I've traveled to about eight different states. At least six of them have been on this crazy list of very infectious or red states. Where the fuck you want to call them? I have yet to contract COVID. My job requires me to get tested. I know I told you not to get tested, but listen, until I, I'm self-sustaining and I have a business that allows me to not have to, you know go by certain rules this this is what i gotta do don't get me wrong bro i'm not getting vaccinated but i had to go get tested in order to keep my job because i had to think smart and, and, and keep this money that i'm i'm getting but um yeah i haven't caught COVID yet and i've been to eight different states six of them being the worst so all of that being said bro shut up with that dumb shit Shut up with it, because it, it must not be that infectious. Don't forget the CDC just had to recall them bullshit ass numbers they had. You know, I guess staycations are so popular this year. Um, there are several things that you can do to help mitigate this risk. First of all, never travel if you're sick, uh, particularly if you have upper respiratory symptoms of fever, cough, uh, sore throat. Don't travel with anybody else who's sick. That's and if you've been exposed to COVID-19, uh, ex exposed to somebody who has COVID-19 within the past 14 days, consider not traveling as well. You'll want to vet the uh, hotel that you're staying at for its COVID-19 practices. You'll want to make sure that the staff wears masks, that they clean the, the common areas frequently. Um, the remotes and other high-touch surfaces have those disposable covers. Apart from that, it's the same thing that you want to do here. Socially distance to six feet. Wash your hands frequently. Wear a mask in public. Don't touch your face or mouth. And are there any certain locations or places that people should avoid? Well, you'll want to find out and research the COVID-19 activity at the destination that you're thinking about traveling to. And this is this is really easy to do. The Centers for D Disease. Um, one thing I will say, man, this this man ain't talking no bullshit or nothing. He's not saying nothing crazy. If COVID existed, this is probably what you should do. In the event that it doesn't exist and you still need to do everything in order put it like this if you do everything they say just right now and then just give it some time i'm not saying do the shit forever give it some time do exactly what they say right except for the vaccination shit and then see if there's still any numbers is the number still increasing so they can shut the fuck up and you can prove them wrong but he's not saying nothing crazy or nothing like that i'm just glad he's not saying nothing about vaccinations Yep. control and prevention have a COVID-19 tracker and you can quickly find the number of new COVID cases at any state in the United States just by using it and there's also uh, information on international destinations as well uh, it's a good idea to find out if there's any uh, you know special travel restrictions or quarantines or other things that might sort of limit your travel a good resource for this would be the Department of Health website for the state that you're looking at traveling to and uh, for international travel the Department of State's website is, is a great resource for this 
And you mentioned that people should do things like social distancing and wear masks. But if people are flying or driving, are there any extra things that they should pack? Well, you know, a mask or, or several, certainly. Uh, it's a good idea to uh, pack a uh, hand sanitizer that has a metal. Let me pause this. I don't know about y'all. If y'all live in a state where they're requiring masks, this is what they're trying to make the new normal. You, I know y'all do the same shit. You leave the house with everything and then you forget your motherfucking mask. You got to run back in and grab it. That's about to be the new normal. You don't have to keep a mask on you like a motherfucking license. Let's make sure that's not the new normal. And how? How are we going to do that? By complying for this for quite some time. So we could at least say we complied for quite some time. And nothing, no positive benefit has come from this. That's what needs to happen. But let's come on. Minimum of 60% alcohol. I think it's a good idea to take sanitary uh, wipes for high contact surfaces. So an example of this would be if you're going to, the handle on a gasoline hose when you stop to fill up. I mean, think of how many people have touched that. Um, it's a good idea. Yeah, let's take a moment to think about it. I pump gas at least once or twice a week. Um, so that's since, what, February? We're not going to do the math. We're going to say 50 times. 50 times I've, I've been touching motherfucking gas handles of motherfuckers I've never met before. And I know they ain't washed their hands. So if I ain't get COVID yet, bro, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, to pack food and water. Um, you might find that when you get to your destination that the grocery stores and restaurants are operating un under severely restricted hours. Uh, it's a good idea to take an extended amount of medication, your medication, in case your return trip home gets delayed. And in addition to going to the beach, this weekend is a really popular time for barbecues. What do you recommend for people or families who are staying home? And just so y'all motherfuckers know, I've been to at least three beach states. Three. I know you see my videos of me on the beach. I've been to th three different beach states. I have yet to catch COVID. Just so you know. Um, they're not going out, but they are having gatherings at their home. Well, you know, the, sort of a rule of thumb is that you want to um, resist going into large crowds or enclosed public spaces. Um, the uh, you got to think about it. Anytime you go into a building uh, where there's a lot of people in it, there's going to be a risk of, of catching COVID. Uh, and so you want to make sure that when you do this, that there's efforts in place to mitigate this. And this would include enforced social distancing where seating is well spaced out and that the occupancy is limited, uh, that there's frequent cleanings that occur, um, that masking is enforced both by staff and by patrons and you know you want to consider the amount of time that you're going to be in the building i mean if you're going to go watch a movie that's that's kind of a lot of time as far as you know being outdoors at a barbecue um it's probably safer to be outdoors because it's easier to socially distance um and you don't have the whole issue of recirculating air but you still have to socially distance heard the man it's safer to be outside than indoors motherfuckers will get outside i'm not saying no much no, nothing else for this video um yeah so y'all y'all want to have a safe labor day Take the man's recommendations, I guess. Um, other than that, man, make sure you get you some motherfucking sunlight. Fuck the YouTube algorithm. Get some sunlight. Get you some vitamin D. Get you some vitamin C. Get you some vitamin zinc. Psych, nah, there ain't no vitamin zinc. It's just zinc. Get you some zinc. I'm sorry. No, nah, I'm fried. I'm, I'm just talking. Get you some fucking zinc so the, the virus stops replicating. Um, other than that, man, y'all make sure y'all enjoy y'all Labor Day weekend. The most important part is y'all happy because... That that's what's gonna really determine if you sick or not. You know what they say, man. Laughter's the cure is the cure to all 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 whatever the fuck. I don't know the real saying. Be happy, man. Your 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 mind state definitely dictates the majority of your illness. So, but that being said, man, that that's all. Y'all like what I'm doing here, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Until the next video, man. Thank you. Pablo out.